Hey everyone, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be doing our soulstone pulls. So I thought about this a little bit and I figured that this is probably a good opportunity to pull them considering that uh, we're basically getting some extra free resources um, for something that we probably would have done anyways. Um, I did skip the last soulstone tournament, so I do have some extra uh, soul stones than what I would have normally um, so I waited about two months uh, collecting um, I do iron twins every day and uh, obviously Hydra nightmare brutal and um, hard difficulty so I collect all those uh, soul stones every week um, so just check out what I have on this account this is my alt account um, the immortal soul stones and the big soul stone I got from I don't know the hero's path or something um, so i've been stocking those up I'll check out the mystic market here i got 58,000 coins so i'm gonna buy 58 so um i'll go over my general strategy on what uh, i think about this event um so we can take a quick look at the previous event so here is a quick look at the rewards for the previous event you can see that our top reward was a sacred. We had two legendary books and a void chart. Very, very nice rewards. Um, although it was extremely hard to reach these top rewards, um, unless you spent a lot of um, probably money to acquire the um, medium sized stones. Um, it was based on quality of pull. So even if you get the medium size or the big size stone, you were pretty uh, far fetched to get some of the higher point totals unless you got really lucky with like a six star legendary which is worth 1000 points um, obviously that would be very very difficult um, so in comparison you can look at the um, rewards we have this time um, we have the void shard one book and the sacred shard at 2500 points so the point totals have definitely gone up um, but the the um the rng of the um shards have have been reduced basically so you know how much each shard is worth um in comparison to the original tournament that we had a couple weeks ago even though the points totals were much lower the chances of um, getting points per shard was much lower than what you see here so here's 10 points for a small one 100 points for the middle one and 500 for the big one the average outcome during the champ, like basically the, the soul stone chase, which is based on the quality of um, the pull, was actually uh, much less per stone. So that's why you see the lower point totals. Um, I'd argue that you probably have a better shot at getting the sacred here in this summon style where you get the guaranteed value per stone. Um, as opposed to this style because the RNG is just so heavy on these stones so even for me um, just saving for about two months I'm pretty much able to almost get the sacred shard if I decide to spend some of my um, essence so I'll go over my um, strategy for that so what I've basically decided to do is not sell any of my essences um, to acquire basically the top prize of getting the sacred shard. Uh, my reasoning is that the feast here is very useless. The barrel here is also very useless. So to get this tome, if you compare it to like the previous reward of the two tomes here, you're basically giving up quite a bit. Um, you're losing quite a bit to get this, to reach this first tome. Um, because I believe at, at this 1800 point threshold, you probably would have gotten the equivalent of about 1000. So you would have gotten two books already. So instead of getting the second book, you're stuck with a barrel, an ore, and a five-star chicken, which like and then some of these other rewards, which may not be that beneficial to you. So in terms of like overall efficiency, I don't think it's as efficient uh, because you're losing out on one um Lego book, roughly. And I also think that if I'm forced to basically sell my um uh, my resources to get an extra big stone so for example right here um, I can sell I can buy three of these guys if I want but if I were to sell this essence to buy the big stone just to achieve the sacred shard I don't think that's a good conversion because um, this um, material the um, the essence or the the red the coins is very limiting 
Um, I'm not limited by sacred shards. Yes, it's nice to get it, but I'm not limited by sacred shards. I'm actually limited by by this material, the essence and the and the yeah the coins. So I'm going to save the coins uh, in this instance. Um, so that's kind of my reasoning for it. I don't know if it's going to be um, something that I regret, but I feel like it's probably um, the right way for me. Um, anyways, so in today's video, sorry, that was a long intro, but in today's video, I'm going to be pulling all of my um, small mortal still stones because I think they have the best value. I'm going to be pulling 120 so I can pick up the um, chaos ore and then I'm going to call it quits here. Uh, I'm not going to bother trying to go for the book because this barrel is just worthless. And then getting up to the 1800, I just don't have enough and I don't really want to spend my middle and big stones just to get one single book. So that's my reasoning. So we can just get right into it. So I'm going to buy some of these guys. So max out. 58. So I got 122. So let's pull 120 of them and see what we get. All right. We obviously, let's check our wish list. I don't know if this is going to still be relevant. Arma, Cole Heart. I think it's fine. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, good luck to me. Let's see. Looking for high high blessing Legos. Uh, one star. I mean, nothing here is going to be too exciting. Oh, there's Lego right away. And Samson. I don't have a Samson. Uh, so not going to be too helpful. But I usually keep most of my legendaries, especially ones that I think are useful. So like I said, we have two accounts to pull on. So we got 220. 240 of these mortal stones to go through this is my alt account so it's going to be like slightly less important ugo that's pretty good uh, i think i have better already so nothing too exciting here gotta be higher blessing at least two star um granted i don't have that many um free to play so all my stones are collected uh from hydra or twins or events uh, so none are purchased of course so nothing here not too exciting okay let's keep going okay we're looking for high star blessings i mean even some epics might be okay but definitely need to be higher higher stars um even a high star cold heart would be nice nope nothing here nothing usable okay let's keep going we get four star rares at least when we sell all this stuff we're gonna get at least a lot of coins back which is kind of nice nope nothing good here let's keep going yeah but the coins my strategy is basically i save coins to buy the split souls in the marketplace so uh, because that's the only way you can get guaranteed value because you can easily spend all your coins to buy buy these stones and get nothing so Two, four, six, six star rare. Keep going. I mean, absolutely nothing so far. Five star rainbees. Like, sure, I can sell that. Like, so far, nothing. There's a legendary. One star Cybel. I mean, sure, Cybel's good. I do have a Cybel uh, on this account. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm pulling it all. Oh, okay, let's keep going. 50 more to go on this account and then we'll go on to the next account Cybele's not bad I got one a one star Cybele two star Hegemon hey I have a two I have a Hegemon I think he's already two star though <laughs> oh that sucks I think I already have a two star Hegemon that kind of sucks all right let's see i mean you know i'm not expecting much but you know since i waited almost two months it would be nice to get something 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 nothing okay nothing moving on keep going okay even 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 high awakened bull uh epics would be good anything Here's Lego, Ghostborn. I don't have a Ghostborn on this account, so that sucks. Otherwise, the two star is okay. Okay, keep going. 
this resource is such a scam but i mean if you hit it's a pretty big boost to your your champ so nothing and i think we're out of space we got 10 left i'll be right back gonna clear up all right let's finish up this last 10 pull and then we'll see uh what this account actually got in terms of like anything tangible Amicia I don't have on this account. Six star rare. We got a couple six star rares. I mean, so I think we did pretty good if this was like a champ chase style. But uh, nothing, I don't think we got anything anything usable. So let's see how many coins. I mean, we probably got a ton of coins here. So that's pretty sweet. Okay, let's see what we got in terms of like tangible assets here. Tangible awakenings. All right. Cybell. I mean, it's one star, okay. Ugo, okay. We got a one star Ugo. Like, that's about it. There's nothing really tangible. Two star Fat Man. I mean, that's an old one. Um, and yeah, I mean, really, we didn't really get much, <laughs> to be honest. Um, that Hegemon would have been the best. Um, but we have a Hegemon already, and I think it's already two star. And then uh, Tumisia, we don't have. We don't have on this account so all right well that's gonna be it for this account we did get 120 so that's gonna be 1200 points and that's enough to scoop up the six star legendary chaos ore and then that's gonna be it I'm not gonna bother with these higher ones uh even though i can achieve the sacred shard it's not worth spending the resources for it i think uh personally so anyways we'll be back with the main account and we'll see how that does all right we're back so same kind of strategy here um so i'm gonna load up on these guys 58 so i'm gonna pull 120 um just to get the um legendary chaos or and make sure my wish list is good i don't know if i want our attack anymore let's double check here don't know if i want our attack because i got a one star our attack i think Hmm, what do we want? What do we want? I feel like, um, oh, you know what? We need uh, the nut. We have to get the nut. Uh, oh, no, I don't have the nut guy yet. Oh, there he is. I do. Nut. Okay. Actually, yeah, he would be a nice, a nice, uh, nice one to get. I don't have a single blessing on Rhonda, so I would like one on Rhonda. And I guess if I get super lucky with Frodo's. Uh, and then yeah <laughs> we'll see and uh, cold heart is there okay okay let's see what we get six star cold heart would be super sweet that would be a huge win but let's see if we can get something here this is the main account so obviously it's going to matter a little bit more if we get lucky i'd rather get lucky on this account Two star dark kale. Um, we can probably use it. I don't have a dark kale geared out and ready to go on this account. There's no reason for him. Uh, legendary. Oh, uh, no good. One star is no good. One star is no good. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. Damn. Almost got a little excited there. We did get Harma, but one star is no good. Not what we want all right anything come on come on let's get something a lot of epics epic can be sold for resources all right nothing 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 going on moving on all right cold heart one star man how do people get six star how do people get six star anything i need like the six star blessings for like shogun shogun's grove um, I'm stuck in the like 17, 18. Um, a cold heart would be really helpful. But yeah. Pixneo. I think I have Pixneo on this account, but I don't have it built out or anything. Dracomorph. Hey, I have a Dracomorph. That is, I mean, that's something. Two star. I don't think two star is going to help here. Dracomorph is the best one so far. And it's... Um, Upgrade is an upgrade for my Dracomorph because my Dracomorph has no blessing, so it is something. Legendary Hawkhorn Smash Lord. I mean, that's the highest one for Hawk. Oh, two star Molly. That's actually a win. 
Um, that's a, actually a pretty big win because I don't have a blessing on Molly. And I use Molly for um, Hydra. So that's a big win. Smash Lord I don't even use. But 3 star is the best one for him for sure. But this Molly is the best one. <laughs> best so far. <laughs> so sad. It's pretty sad. Um, but I do use Molly for Hydra. So a 2 star blessing gives her you know, probably some HP or defense. All right, nothing here. I always keep my legendary blessings just because they're so hard to come by, so I always keep them just in case. Can we get lucky with some high star blessing, please? Anything. All right, we got to make some space. We'll be right back. All right, 40 more to go. 40 more to go. Let's see what we can get. Four star epic, always good. Good for resale value, I mean. Mm, well, legendary, and it's a Mountain King. I do have a Mountain King on this account, not built. So it is something, but. Okay. Let's keep going. Come on, let's get something. Got 20 more to go. Okay, these stones, man. I don't know how much stones people have to buy to get something useful, but man, they must have spent so many thousands of dollars. It must be, it's unbelievable. All right, let's go. Last 10 pop. Maybe we can get something of use. Let's go. Fat man. I mean, I have a fat man. But one star is not going to be too helpful. And that's it. I think that's it. Yep, that is it. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got in terms of like tangible assets. This is nice. These gold coins. Okay, let's see what we got. Smash Lord, Dracomorph, Molly. And then a couple cool hearts. Oh, actually only one cool heart. So one cohort, the fat man. We actually had some upgrade. The Molly is probably the best one for us. <laughs> so two star Molly, that's gonna be the highlight of 120 uh mortal soul stone pulls. Um yeah, a two stone Molly, a two star Molly. I mean and then we got the legendary ore, we're not gonna bother with the rest, it's just way too expensive for how much we have. So we'll continue to save and we'll find more efficient and opportune times to spend those shards. I'm thinking there's going to be a boosted rate. So that's why I'm holding out on some of the bigger ones. Um, there might be a like a you know 2, 2x chance at legendary maybe one day. So I'm really holding out for those type of events. Um, I think there definitely might be some opportunity for that in the future. Um, I'm in no rush to pull these soul stones so I'm very content on just holding them. Um, right now I'm just saving up um, my resources to um, buy eternal soul essence so I can upgrade my my souls with split souls from the market if I need it uh, or if I see it so that's my strategy so um, these extra little pulls is just kind of for fun um, but yeah anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the video um, hopefully you guys had some good luck on your soul stones and um, yeah let me know in the comments below how you guys did and I'll see you guys in the next video.